Geneva Motor Show 2017 Preview Get an early look at some of the star cars lined up for this year's Geneva Show, which opens its doors on March 9. The Geneva Motor Show is one of the largest and most prestigious in the motoring calendar, and often plays host to the debuts of the world's finest supercars. This year's show is no different, and with just four weeks to go, we've got a lengthy list of the star cars headed to the show. Take a look below to see what's Geneva bound this year. Geneva Motor Show 2017 The Cars Alpine A120 Reborn Ronaldo's sports car maker Alpine will bring its A120 to the Geneva Motor Show. It'll be the first time we've seen the production version of the car in the metal, although Alpine has been drip-feeding details of the mid-engined coupe to its site. Aston Martin Q Commission Gaiden sports car maker will launch a new service from its Q customization department that allows buyers to spec completely bespoke models for the first time. Aston will also show a customized DB11, above, to illustrate an expanded range of Q options. Citroën C3 Picasso Citroën's new C3 Picasso MPV is expected at Geneva this year, alongside its sister car, the Vauxhall Crossland X, both share platforms and engines. We've seen more of the Crossland X than we have of the Citroën, but it's clear to see from spy shots that it adopts Citroën's new layered front-end design. Vanda Dendrobium Electric Hypercar Singapore's first hypercar utilizes Williams F1 technology, although little else is known. Similar in its intentions to the Aston Martin MRB001 and Mercedes-AMG Project 1 hypercars, it's likely to be built in very limited numbers. Eden Green Black Quillen Fledgling UK company and potential Morgan rival Eden Green has revealed only one dramatic line drawing preview of its Black Quillen retro-styled coupe. It's certainly got the mystique to set speculation soaring, but the company promises more details in the days leading up to the show. Ferrari 812 Superfest Ferrari's replacement for the F12 Berlin Etta, the 812 Superfest, is the first of the supercars to be revealed at Geneva. The 789BHP V122 door is the most powerful series production Ferrari produced yet. Hyundai i30 Wagon the estate version of Hyundai's new five-door i30 is one of the most spacious models in its class. It mixes generous dimensions with a slanting roofline and a more luxurious interior. Ital Design V10 Supercar Italian design house Ital Design will launch a new car brand with a V10 sports car. It'll share its powertrain with top-spec Audi R8s. Jaguar XF Sport Brake Jaguar confirmed its XF Sport Brake estate at the Paris Motor Show with an image of the car in prototype guise. It'll share engines with the standard XF, meaning a 2.0-liter diesel and 3.0-liter V6 petrol and diesel engines will make up the range. There's unlikely to be an XFR Sport Brake variant to rival the Mercedes-AMG E63S estate, though. Kia Picanto We've already seen pictures of the Picanto, which Kia revealed ahead of last month's Detroit Motor Show, but Geneva will be the first time we've seen it in the metal. The smallest Kia gets a fresh new look, more upmarket interior and updated technology and safety features. A sporty GT line trim also features, but a full-fat GT won't be produced. Land Rover Range Rover Veeler Land Rover's Porsche make and rival is its most road-biased model yet. Called the Veeler, it will sit between the Evoque and Range Rover Sport and will go on sale later this year. Lamborghini Huracan Performant Lamborghini's lightweight Huracan variant no longer called Super Legra if patent files are to be believed, will be at Geneva, and it's believed to be making its appearance in both Coupe and Spider variants. The significant weight reduction should significantly push the car's top speed up and its 0 to 62 miles per hour time down. McLaren P14 McLaren will show the replacement for the 650's codenamed P14 at Geneva. 
it'll get an evolutionary new look and most likely a great deal more power. McLaren has already titillated us by revealing the car's new carbon fiber monocoque ahead of the show, but a leaked image of the car recently appeared online that offers a better idea of its full design. Mercedes-AMG G65 4X4 Landolette Mercedes-AMG will reveal its G65 4X4 Superscript 2 Landolette, a limited volume, V12-powered semi-convertible version of the G-Class, at Geneva. The model will act as a swan song for the outgoing car, which will be replaced by a heavily updated model later this year. Mercedes-AMG E63 Estate The new Mercedes-AMG E63 Estate is the world's quickest wagon, hitting 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.5 SEC in range topping S4 Matic and guys. That's just 0.1 SEC slower than its saloon equivalent. Its closest rival, the fastest version of the Audi RS6 Avant, covers the same sprint in 3.7 SEC. Mercedes-AMG GTC Roadster Edition 50 Mercedes will show Edition 50 versions of its AMG GTC Roadster, C63 Cabriolet and C43 for MATIC. The Edition 50 version of the hardtop GTC was revealed earlier this year. Mitsubishi Eclipse Mitsubishi is rather late to the Cash K rival club, but the Eclipse is a car that could turn the ailing car maker's fortunes around under new Renault Nissan management. It's expected to have a look derived from the brand's XR5 concept car, first seen in 2013. The Eclipse name was formerly used on a sports coupe produced from 1989 until 2011. Nissan Cash K Facelift Nissan announced at last year's Geneva show that an updated Cash K is coming this year, and it's already confirmed to have Nissan's single-lane autonomous tech, named ProPilot. A premium, pound 3000 plus Tecna and version is coming later this year to challenge the Audi Q3. Pagani Huayra Roadster Pagani confirmed the Huayra Roadster's place at the Geneva Motor Show this year with two preview images showing fragments of the car. The hardtop Huayra is powered by Pagani's bespoke twin-turbo 6.0-liter V12, producing 730 bhp and 738 pounds-foot, and it's very likely that the Huayra Roadster will share this engine in unaltered form. It will build on that car's 666,000 pounds price tag, though. Pininfarina Fittipple di EF7 Vision Gran Turismo A supercar called the Pininfarina Fittipple di EF7 Vision Gran Turismo has been developed in conjunction with two-time F1 champ and Indy 500 winner Emerson Fittipple di. No technical information has been released, but the car is expected to be designed for track driving. Porsche 911 GT3 Facelift It's been spotted testing numerous times, but Geneva will be the show at which we finally officially see the 911 GT3 in facelift form. The car will gain the option of a manual gearbox, but will retain the 3.8-liter engine of the current GT3, without the aid of a turbocharger. CD Visa So far, we've only seen pictures of the new Evisa. It will go on sale in July so Geneva will be the first time we get to see Seat's crucial new Super Mini in the metal. It shares its underpinnings with the Arona small SUV that will arrive near the end of this year. Subaru 15 The second generation Subaru 15 small SUV is based on the company's new global platform that is also used for the new Impreza. At the heart of the model will be boxer engines mounted in a way that's set to reduce vibration. Suzuki Swift Numerous leaks preceded the Swift's official Japanese reveal at the end of 2016, but its motor show debut comes at Geneva, where the European spec Super Mini will be revealed. A hybrid powertrain is among the options expected to make it to Europe. Tech Rules GT96 Chinese electric car company Tech Rules first previewed its innovative turbine recharging EV at last year's Geneva show, but the production-ready version will officially be revealed in March. The power output for the concept was put at 1030 bhp, 
with 0 to 60 miles per hour coming in 2.5 SEC and a 217 miles per hour top speed. An electric only range of 93 miles is also claimed, as is an incredibly impressive 1200 miles of total range. Toyota Yaris Hot Hatch The Toyota Yaris GRMN Hot Hatch takes the name of the brand's Gazoo Motorsport Outfits performance models. The car has been revealed already, but it'll get a full debut in Geneva, before going on sale later this year. It's confirmed to have more than 205 bhp, meaning it'll take the small hot hatch segment up by a few horsepower. Volvo XC60 Volvo has withdrawn from all but three of this year's motor shows, so Geneva is the most likely venue for the debut of the new XC60 small SUV. We've already spotted it testing, and the car's new disguise is likely to draw quite heavily from its XC90 sibling. Volkswagen Arteon Volkswagen's replacement coupe for the CC moves another step away from its Passat variant roots with a new name but the same sort of styling. Since the Phaeton has now ended production, it will be the most expensive saloon in Volkswagen's range. We've already driven an early prototype, and there are whisperings of a shooting brake variant, too. Vauxhall Crossland X Vauxhall's new Crossland X urban small SUV, the replacement for the Meiva MPV, is due to make its public debut, likely with Opel badges. We've already seen it in pictures. Volkswagen T-Rock Volkswagen's small SUV has been a long time coming, the Nissan Juke has been around since 2010, so Volkswagen has had seven years to get its rival right. It is most likely to draw inspiration from the T-Rock concept first seen at the Geneva show back in 2014. A lot has changed since then, so the car may be quite different from its concept precursor. Zenvo TS1 GT Anniversary Model To mark 10 years of business, Danish supercar maker Zenvo will launch an anniversary version of its TS1 GT in Geneva. The car will be powered by a twin supercharged 5.8-liter V8 that produces more than 1150 bhp.